Good afternoon! And I'm supposing it's a really good day for you wherever you are. I'm so excited to be here today. Guess what guys, I'm really sorry yesterday I did not show up. My bad. But I'm here to report that I was actually closing a deal um, in the city. So I had to actually drive to the city. Hence, uh, first of all, you probably did not see um, you know, a, a live from me. Oh, we're back. <laughs> All right, so I see Sof Sofia and you're joining in. How you going, my man? Um, I was just still talking about yesterday and how, you know, I left and went to the city and yeah, you know, got to meet a lot of people and we closed a deal for the company. I just don't do this um, Facebook Live and showing up for you guys. I actually do run a real business behind the scenes. Um, you know, my social media, SEO and AdWords that I help other small businesses to market, scale and grow themselves. Okay, so all these things that I'm actually telling you and talking about is stuff that we actually practice stuff that we actually put in play and it's stuff that is actually working all right now today's live is brought to you in part by deuce deuce my man you saved the day <laughs> juice actually saved the day today um i was fumbling around with my headphones i want to let you know guys if you're going to be doing live use the headphone piece or the mouthpiece this makes a good audio quality okay that's tip number one remember okay besides good audio quality you you need to have good video and um you know wireless signal i just realized that i had a video uploading and it was chewing into my signal so yeah so deuce helped me um i was about to give up on this and then he's like don't give up don't give up so that message came in you know uh, at, at a really good time thank you so much juice if you're still uh tuned in so guys today we're really talking about um how to actually get uh and close deals um, and also, I'm going to give you four or five, I don't know, whichever we can fit in the next 30 minutes, um, you know, um, strategies that we use for Facebook, okay? To start off with, guys, I really appreciate everybody else that has been posting and commenting on my stuff. If this is the first live that you are encountering, um, you know, we, we're here, we're a community, we're a family, we're here to learn, grow and thrive. And I really hope that is what everybody else is receiving from my end. So that's the reason why I asked that question yesterday. Because when we're behind the scenes creating, we're not seeing or we're not really seeing what you guys, you know, view us as. The reason being, when I'm in here in the office, all I get to see is my stuff. I don't get to see what else other players are putting out there. You know what? So I really want to make sure that whatever message and whatever market I'm bringing out there... Um, you know, it, it's actually resonating to the people that I feel like are receiving the message, okay? So it is something that you should do for yourself as well because you never know what the other person is thinking or what sort of impression or, really, um, you, know, um, you know, reaction somebody has towards your work because we might think we are actually, um, you know, uh, um, what do you call it? We're actually resonating with the market that we're trying to reach out to, but they're probably hearing a different message, okay? So let's say you're or a girl in on the market some guys are just looking at you as a sex object some ladies are looking at you as somebody who's just showing off and some other people are actually getting value from uh, what you're getting so at the end of the day you really want to make sure you ask the audience what exactly they're seeing so that you give them more of that now do says how are you young man looking good thank you so much I just really Thank you um, for, you know, coming in time. <laughs> I had these stuck in my pocket and they were all tangled up and I was about to give up. But then obviously I used them for good quality. So you helped and saved the day just thank you so much. All right. So like I'm saying, guys, you really want to be creating stuff that people actually resonate to people really like and people really want to be a part of okay because there's no point in you um speaking to an empty theater and you know just 
putting out content that nobody is really, um, you know, getting or understanding or enjoying. Because then you then just put into the bucket of content that's already out there in the market. Our job now, guys, is to help people understand what we do, help people understand how to get results, help people understand how to actually do their job so that they get a life that they're out there looking for, okay? So whatever your system, your service is going to be providing, it's not just going in for the sale, you're actually helping somebody put their kid through college, you're helping somebody either lose weight and feel good when they go out, you're helping somebody live a life that's you know either profitable and enjoyable or a happier existence, all right? So once you take away the mindset of you closing a sale, I don't know who just put up a hate symbol there. If that's you, please just go away. I do not like your negativity. Is that Joel? Joel Otterstrom. What's wrong, man? What's going on? All right. At the end of the day, if you don't like what I'm preaching, you are really welcome to shove off. Anyway, what we're talking about is really how you can actually really put that deal across. What a lot of people are doing is either cold calling or sending out cold emails and trying sales tricks, some of which are now really outdated. I want to welcome you and usher you to the new world of sales, guys. All right? Because... What we are doing right now used to work five years ago. And if you really notice every second day, Facebook is changing something. So some of the tricks and strategies that are out there might not really work for today's person. You know why? Because they've seen it before. When somebody comes out to teach you something, they've already tried it. They've already taught other people. So you're not going to be the first person, all right, to... Um, you know, you, you're not going to be the first person to put that out in the um, in, on the market, all right? So you really, really want to make sure when you bring people in with your Facebook ads, they are coming to a place that's already defined, a community, people that automatically like your stuff, people that already know what exactly is going on, and you have a message that is actually being delivered to a market, okay? So even if you put out whatever ads out there, you could get the leads, but when they come to your party, what are you offering them? Okay? And Trish, thank you so much for tuning in. Today, we're actually just talking about how to close those deals when they come in from your Facebook ads. Okay? Right. So Because some people are just putting out ads there, but they're not actually, when they get the leads, those leads are not converting. All right? So, you really got to shift from being the salesperson which is pretty which is pretty much a stereotypical you know connotation to what we have all become because in order for you to get any sort of money you got to sell and some people are not really comfortable with selling some people are so it's different you need to find out exactly what it is that suits and resonates with you now trish says how <laughs> all right and 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 you really need to envision what your end result for the customer is going to be, all right? Customers are not buying what we're selling. Customers are buying what they are going to become, all right? So when somebody buys your transformational product, they're not buying that course, those modules. They're buying the person who will fit in the suits. They're buying the person who is going to be loved by their partner. They're buying the person that's going to be profitable and enjoyable within their business, so if you actually know what it is that you're bringing forth to your customers, it becomes so easy to just send out content that resonates and also supports your ad as it is going around, okay? People now have what is called ad fatigue. So if your ad is seriously not sticking out or if it does stick out a little bit and you bring people to your website and they don't quite have anything that resonates with them, that's a lot of money that you've wasted, okay? So it's no longer that cutthroat doggy dog world that is, you know, personified by, what's that guy's name? Um, Glenn Ross, is it, from Wolf of Wall Street. It's not like that anymore, you know what I mean? People, yes, Trish, people are buying their dream and you have to become the person that actually helps them achieve that goal. 
All right. We, we, we have been sort of bombarded with the whole hustle culture, funnel, 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 convert, convert, convert. But what we're creating on the market is just people that are not going to buy from you in the future. All right. You're going to consistently put money out there to get, you know, limited returns. So you really, really want to reconsider and reposition yourself as somebody who just doesn't think that sales is about closing that one deal. It's about opening relationships. OK, what we work with is, is people's hopes and dreams. Every time somebody comes to you with a problem that your service or business can solve, you are putting them from where they are to where they really want to be. Okay, so once you ch change and shift that mindset, I assure you this is going to be a walk in the park for you. Okay, so like I'm saying, the, the whole world is really changing drastically, and more than ever, customers now have access to unlimited amount of information. You know, they can get whatever you're doing through social media. They can see online reviews and word of mouth, okay? You really want to make sure that you're fostering all those relationships that you already have with your customers. The reason being, if you tell people limited time only, it's not like they're just going to jump onto your ad. They're going to look you up at least. So you want to make sure that your social standing, your social footprint is going to help you close that deal when you've got ads out there. All right. So you want to make sure whatever you're doing is transparent enough so that you're building relationships. OK, people don't succumb to pressure anymore. All right. So you can't go out there tricking people and, and, and trying to close sales people will still find out what's really happening behind the scenes, okay? So, you know, despite how much, how much pressure you might have because maybe you've got bills that are waiting for you or whatever and you, you really want to close as many deals as you can today, the sales process, guys, I don't want to lie to you, has gotten a lot easier. All you have to do is just adjust your approach. What is it that you want the customer to feel after that? And just go out there and deliver that. Deliver that in your content. And then when you put your ads that are coming on a pixel page or whatever it is, it resonates. Okay? People just don't really jump onto anything just because it's Trish that's putting it out there or it's Prosper that's putting it out there, etc., etc. Okay? So even if you're putting ads out there, you want to make sure you're also playing the long game. All right. A successful entrepreneur these days can actually tell you that it's the patient person that actually wins at the end of it all. Because you're going to rush. All right. You're going to rush and put out ads there and then the whole customer experience is not as good. Those customers are not going to buy from you, period. They're going to tell their friends. And it's easy these days for people to just comment on a, you know, a, 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 a stupid ad. And then that ruins your ad for everybody else because people are going to be seeing that and you won't see it in time. All right. So you really want to make sure that, you know, you, you, you go away from the idea of sign up now and then, you know, um, I'll throw in an air freshener in your house or I'll throw in, um, you know, a free mic or whatever it is. People don't succumb to that anymore. Customers now have better access to all that information and they know what your competitors are providing, what they're currently sending out. We don't know what our competitors are doing. All right. We are not taking the time to actually study what the market is also doing. You know why? Because we're busy creating. So just take, for instance, if you go into a shop, all right, like in a shop, every day, every one of you guys buys groceries or whatever. Every person who's got a brand or every product that's going to be there, let's take, for example, washing powder. It does the same thing. It brightens. It, it makes your clothes look smart, smells good. It might be different flavor smells, but it's still the same thing. And most of them are new and improved anyway. But it's how your product stands out from the shelf, how people have resonated with it in the past. All those things will determine somebody picking it up and moving to the next aisle. All right. So that's what we are like as well when we're presenting our offers to the market. It's not just us they're seeing. So you want to make sure that, you know, you, you understand that shoppers now take more time actually making decisions, which means that your sales process or your sales funnel should also follow that pattern. All right. The more you're bringing out there, it's now more of quality over quantity. 
All right, because you see, personally, I would really prefer um, somebody who spends a hundred dollars in a store than trying my hardest to peddle a ten dollar product and somebody who just comes in once and never comes back again. You know why? Because the hundred dollar person has already pledged their brand allegiance to me. They've stayed they've stayed long enough to actually want to buy more and convert and know more about what's happening. That's the person you really want to be dealing with, okay? Unless you just want to be a one-click wonder, go in, go out, and nobody ever hears about you. I want to talk to those people that want to build legacy. I want to talk to those people that want to build something of substance that they're actually proud to talk about at their next barbecue, all right? Some of these businesses that are being thrown at me to help out, they are just you know, stuff that you will be embarrassed to talk about to your friends because you know why? It's just filled with tricking people and not just doing things the right way. Ray Ring, how's it going, man? Thanks for tuning in. You know, I think it was two, two, 2014 or something like that. I read Wall Street. They conducted a, a study to, 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 to find out how do people actually make purchases, okay? And... They notice that the slower that somebody actually makes a shop, uh, a, a purchase, the more likely they are going to spend again. So don't forget about those people that don't buy today. You know, retarget those people, send content out to them because they're still studying you. Like I keep saying, guys, people need to see your stuff at least six times before they even make a purchase. So if you just blaze through with your with your um what do you call it with your ad and then forget about those people that take their time because people are totally different all right look at look at my fingers there by the time this person receives your ad this t this person has probably not seen it all right and this person has probably not seen it and they want to see it maybe six times so you got to rank your customers as in, are these people hot leads? Are they cold leads? Or are these people having been exposed to my brand as yet? So don't just put out ads and think that's the be it and end all. You got to do work so that when you invite people to this party, they've got nibbles and they've got music and stuff that they actually do enjoy. So they stick around and pay more. Okay, so this then when you bring people into your periphery, it also then provides, you know, an opportunity for them to learn about your story, to learn about your mission, to see what actually separates you from the competition. Okay, remember, it's this is all now about building a community around your products. And it does take time to actually, you know, develop these genuine relationships. And science proves it that once somebody has made a purchase from you, they're more than likely to purchase again and again and also justify their purchase to everybody else in their community, hence bringing in referrals to you. Okay? So if you actually then just are going in for the kill, you're missing out on a lot of customer life cycle or lifeline value that you would generate from that person. Because every single step that person is going to get, they're going to want to see what it is that you have. Maybe you've got a product that helps them every step of their journey. All right? Because once people have really aligned themselves to a brand, it's really hard to, to you know, move them or divert them to go anywhere else. So that's the reason why you should actually start having actual conversations with your customers. You know, whether you're doing B2B or what did they call the other one? B2C, you know, um, the e-commerce stuff. Take your actual time to talk to customers without pushing a deal, guys. Like that goes a long way. You should remember that these are people. Every person that you see out there is representing a Facebook profile. They've got hopes and dreams. They've got things that excite them. They've got things that they aspire to. You know, you want to justify either their failures. You want to encourage their dreams. You really want to confirm their suspicions. And you really want to ally with their fears. And most of all, help them throw rocks at their enemies, guys. This is the only way you are actually going to create a tribe and people that will actually buy from you, work with you, and really advocate for your stuff. To be honest, you don't really need a lot of people for you to actually make it big online. You just need a concentrated number of people that are constantly buying from you and sharing your stuff to other guys. This makes your advertising cheaper. This makes your whole brand grow and 
it becomes organic. You know? You know, I know it's in our instinct to have at the back of our mind that, you know, when is the right time to, to, to ask for, for, for a sale? Most of the time, these people, when they're ready, they'll ask for it. I'm not saying don't go out there selling, but I'm saying make sure you give them enough that they want to reciprocate that content or that value with wanting to give you money somehow. I was laughing, uh, one of my uh, clients, um, she's probably watching right now, she wrote, oh, I'm so sorry, I really want to pay you right now. When you get to that level with your customers and they really want to give you money, you know why? Because that's the only way they can pay you back. Imagine what else they will do for your brand. Instead of you just tricking them into signing up for that one thing and then, you know, they unsubscribe and that's the end of it. There's now what is called ad fatigue. So you really want to make sure that your ads are being supplemented by something that is really organic so that when people come around, they've got something to chew on. Okay? So usually the first primary talking point you should always be, you know, about what actually is bringing people to you. You know, you want to ask them questions that get that gets you to know what their motivations are, what their needs are, and then, you know, go out there and really, really put your stuff out there so that people will align with your cause. All right? You know? Because this, these are people, too. The same way you go to the bathroom, the same way you stop to eat, the same way you go to whatever position you go to when you're working or whatever, that's exactly what's going on with these people, too. And they want you to win. And the only way they make you win is by voting for you with their credit cards. All right? So people are interested in learning about uh, whatever you've built. Because everyone is looking to belong somewhere. That's a big yearning that we have been brought up with in our psyche. We want to belong to something. So when people come into your space, they want to learn about the community that you call home so that you really want to welcome them in as an educator. Okay? So now part of you being that person that's welcoming those guys is to really have an honest approach. All right? Because at the end of the day, we're the most documented generation in the history of the internet. All right. So people really, 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 really would look you up. So give them something to look at if you're afraid that they will trace back, um, you know, um, um, back to things that you don't want them to see. You know, you know, it might sound counterintuitive, but you'd be surprised how people really want to know you before they give you money. It's no longer about the avatar. They want to see where their money is going. They want to see what it is that you're building and they want to help you do that. They really want you to win. But by you not showing yourself in front of them, you are putting that barrier between you and money. So a huge portion of actually closing a deal is the sense of comfort that will eventually come with somebody knowing who you are and it breeds loyalty. And even if you lose the battle today, it doesn't mean you've lost the war. They might not just be ready for you just now. They might not just make that purchase today. All right. Trish says, um, yes, you want a sale. But what works for me is just talk to your clients, get to know them, give them some. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Pretty much that, that, you know, and by talking to them, they really now start understanding that you're genuine and it makes them also feel guilty about not going ahead with the deal. Because now you've, you've been in their psyche, you've talked to them, you've given them something in person. It's natural for them to want to reciprocate and the only way they can do it is to just give you their credit card. Because if, if you're not interacting with them, there's no remorse, there's no feeling there. So you want to guilt your clients into actually paying you if that's the right way to do it. Alright? I'm not saying go and make people feel guilty and, and, and start showing off how poor you are. But... It's just human psyche that once you've given somebody something, they want to reciprocate that. 
You know, I, I work with a lot of companies. Some of them are really big companies. I can't really mention them. You know why? I don't have the money to protect myself when they want to sue me. But one of the biggest mistakes I see with companies is by using their, their social media as a, as a means to just spam and, you know, just direct advertising to people instead of actually connecting with your clients. You know, yeah, while social media is like free advertising or whatever, you know, no one is willing to engage with this type of content these days, especially if they have a choice and especially if somebody is actually there and being there for them. Okay, so you want to really use those, um, you know, social media channels to build relationships. We're on here to get to know each other, get to see where the money is going because nobody wants to support because at the end of the day, there's rich people that are just bombing people all over the world. You never know who you're supporting these days. So you want to know where your money is going. I mean, I for one really, you know, I'm particular about that. I want to see what my money is being used for. Instead of me just supporting things that are going to hurt my daughter in the future. You know, your social channels and what you're relating to people should really be about building relationships, not sales. OK, so this is this is your chance to actually build trust by showing your human side as well as the types of, you know, brands and people that actually work in unison with you, that also trust you, giving you social proof that you're not just going to be some suicide bomber that we don't know who's going to hurt people when the time comes. OK, all right. So that's not just to say, you know, you shouldn't take the proper steps or of what we're doing of creating maybe pipelines or sales funnels or whatever it is on your social um, you know, media or whatever. But. Guys, you should make your community people that are going to vote for your own existence as a business person. These people want to be part of your success story and let them help you write it. That's all that matters. If you're just going to be there and not be there for people, it's, it's going to be difficult for anyone to want to follow you. You know why? Because your life and experience have greater importance and market value than you could ever actually dream of. Some people are following us just because maybe they want to know how we got to where we are. Some people just really need inspiration. Some people want to learn things of how to get relationships in their family. So whatever you're doing good, they want more of that. So instead of just selling them a pen, you could actually sell them a reason to leave. And they would be forever indebted to that. Now, what would make you feel better as an entrepreneur if you actually have somebody coming up to you and saying, sorry, man, because of you, I did not give up. Or you just want to sell them a pen and then that's it. End of transaction. You know, you know, you and I are here to make an actual difference in this world. And the best way to actually do this, guys. The best way that we actually know how to do this best is to package your knowledge in such a way or, or a, a, your advice or whatever mess you've been to a message that a market can actually comprehend. Yeah? Do you know what I mean? So you really want to be there to help other people succeed. If you're just there to steal from people, first of all, I don't want you in my, my um, friends list. I'm not here to help people that are just going to be suicide bombers out there. I'm tired of this. I really want people that are going to be helping other people to actually succeed in life. So if your business is not doing that, you will not get value in what I, I teach or in what I've got to offer. In any case, guys, it's almost uh, 2.30. I'll have to go. But if you really want to see how this all comes together, grab yourself a copy of the Blueprint where you learn how to actually capture the right kind of people, figure out their pain, give them a real payoff and a real value product so that they can, you know, go through your cycles, engaging with them, providing value and actually inspiring people to live a life that's profitable and enjoyable. Educate them in the process and position yourself into somebody who is able to solve these problems. You then learn how to convert them. You're not solving problems. You're not selling anything. And it's just online marketing tweaked with a few calls to action because these people already know, like, and trust you. And it becomes easy for them to become your community. You don't have to pay more on ads. It's just you're putting out your authority right there. 
and you know creating lasting relationships and building brand loyalty and actually branding because you know what you've got the right kind of people you're giving them the right kind of content and then you just convert them because that's why we're in business right you know you have to turn that advertising into profit but you cannot do that if these people are not related to you so i can teach you that just type in blueprint there and i'll send you through a copy of the um, blueprint and thank you so much trish for this i'm really loving it it's it's the best thing that has happened to me so far this week um in any case we'll be meeting again tomorrow let's um all go out there and really 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 serve the people that are going to be voting for us to remain in business all right in the meantime if you've got any questions send us a dm or i'll see you in my news feed i'll be asking you questions so that i can serve so that i can relate and so that i can give you so much value so that you would also impart that value to the people that um you know us you're serving in the meantime guys enjoy the rest of your day and i really 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 value and appreciate your support